Today on Creating Joy, I'm going to show you how you can alter dress pants. So the first thing we're going to do is have the person that needs their pants altered, have them try them on, and then go ahead and pin it right where it needs to be altered. So what I am looking for when I am altering some pants is I want it to end right so the, the tongue isn't showing. So it's gonna go about right here on the shoe. So this part right here will fall right here on the shoe, okay? So that's what I'm looking for. So you can see on these pants, if you turn them out, you can see that this is where it's at. So I only pinned it on in these two places to make sure it was straight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure it. Okay, so I'm going to go from the fold down to the edge and looks like we've got five inches. Okay. So because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut the excess off. So I'm going to cut up to this two inch line and then I'm going to fold it under um, twice and then I will show you how to hand stitch it. We have five inches that were extra from our fold and I'm going to cut off three of them. So I've got them and I have them measured right here for the three inches. You line up on your pants and get everything straight. The other one. Okay, so now that this is cut, I can actually see how the lining is separate to these particular pairs of pants. Um, not all dress pants are going to have a lining like this is. They had it surged before. And if you have a zigzag, right now would be a really good time to go ahead and just do a quick zigzag around, or if you have a serger, you can serge it. I actually have a serging stitch on my sewing machine, and I'm gonna go and show you that. I'm going to just go around this really quick. So on this particular machine, you can see that the serging stitches we have are the 16, and the double serge is a tighter one, is 29. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the 16. So I just go up to the one and then over to the six on that side and that will move my needle over to the correct position to do the stitch 16. So at this point, when you're doing pants, you're gonna to need to take off the attachment to the machine so that you can get into this part right here. So you're going to take your pant leg and open it up and straddle around the sewing machine. And that way it can go right along the edge. So on this you want, when you're doing the stitch, you want part of your needle to go on the fabric and then the other part to go right off so that it will cover up the edge of your fabric like a serger would. Okay, so we're gonna put the presser foot down and you don't need to back stitch with this particular stitch, you just go. So I am pausing because I wanna line up the lining with it so that it's right together at this, the edge. You'll have to rotate the pants and move, rotate them around. Once I get to the starting point, then I just go over top it just where I started and then I will cut it off and just trim all the strings. Okay, and then we'll do our other leg, which is just the same thing. 
Now that we have this all sewn, we went around it, we're going to go ahead and turn our pants right side, or wrong side out, okay? And then we're going to find the pant leg that where we originally put the pins in, okay? We're going to take our little measuring tool and we're going to measure how big our fold line is from between our two pins to the edge and then we're going to move this notch accordingly so that we have it the same all the way around okay so once we have it lined up then we're going to just continue that all the way around okay and we're going to take our pins and we're going to pin it okay so you'll see that i'm going to do because i'm doing this all by hand i am going to be um, pinning it probably every about two inches so We'll just do the same to the other side. Okay, so here we have them. Both sides are pinned, and now we can go get our needle threaded with. I'm going to use white thread since it's white pants, and so matching thread to whatever you are um, adjusting. Okay. So when I am getting thread, I want to think about how much I'm going to need to go all the way around one leg. And so I'm getting that and I am doubling it because I'm going to um, double my thread as I'm sewing. Okay, once your needle is threaded, I like to put two knots on top of each other so that I can make sure that it doesn't go through. So I'm gonna just go through, I'm gonna go underneath the fold right here. And I also, I actually like to start right here where there's a seam. So I'm gonna actually start right here. I'm gonna come through and see if this knot is going to hold. And yes, my knot held, okay? So what we are going to be doing is we're going to just take the top layer and we're going to go in and through And the whole goal is to make it so you aren't seeing anything on the outside, okay? So, and that's why I am I have the wrong side up because we're going to be working on this, this side, okay? We don't want anything to show on our top side. So if you have to take, if you don't have lining that you can sew it onto, then what you're going to be doing is you are just taking tiny stitches which I'm gonna show you this one. I'm gonna actually go through. Um, well, let me get past the seam. So we'll get past the seam. Okay, now that we're past the seam, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna, I'm gonna poke it through both layers just to show you. It's going to be the tiniest little stitch that you are going to gather in, onto your pants so that when you are looking through the other side you're not going to be able to see it okay okay so we're gonna take it through so right here is my stitch it's really 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 tiny you're not even going to be able to see it so if you don't have a lining that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to make, make, it's microscopic. It's so tiny, okay? So make sure that that's what you're doing when you are doing your pants, okay? So I do call this a whip stitch because you it will be seen on the underside, okay? I'm gonna come over and I'm because I have lining, I'm actually just gonna grab the lining and I'm going to be coming up 
and I'm coming up right above where the stitching is. And because we sewed along the edge, it does not need to be folded under twice. That edge can be sitting down just like that, okay? Okay, so we're just going to continue like that, this all the way around the pair of pants. If you have a thimble, um, then you can use your thimble to help push the needle through. In some of these places, especially the seam, it gets a little bit harder to pull it through. Okay, so I have gone all the way around and I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. So again, just go right next to where your um, needle has has ended and go underneath where it came out and then poke it through the loop and pull it tight if you want to go around a second time make sure you have a secure knot then you can okay and go ahead and trim off your thread well, again you can go down underneath so your string goes inside and poke your needle out so that way your tail is underneath okay so here we go you can see how it's all nicely done it's all just a thumb stitch and you can't see it on the front where if you used a sewing machine you would see a big line all the way with the sewing machine so now we're just going to take all the pins out um, once you've done both legs and you're done now that our pants are all done i've turned them right side out and here you can see the nicely done alteration Thank you for joining me today to learn how to alter pants. I hope that this has helped you out for some future projects that you have. Also, if there's anyone you know that needs to learn any of these skills that I'm teaching, please feel free to share those with other people. And remember to subscribe if you've seen any value here today. Thank you so much for joining me and have fun creating joy.